It's one of Silicon Valley's biggest giants. He's been called the godfather of technology, the Iron Man of business. Oracle Executive Chairman Larry Ellison in this exclusive interview. So, Larry, let me turn to you. You're a statesman in the industry. Obviously, you've been around a long time and have watched small companies become big companies try to compete with you. Assess the industry for us. What, what strikes you most about what you've seen over the last several years? I'll say. Okay. Well, again, sometimes I, I liken the computer industry to the fashion industry, that, that certain brands get very, very popular, certain brown brands get very unpopular. IBM, when I first came into the industry, was the ultimate brand. It was not a company against whom you would compete. It was the environment in which you would compete. Amazon now is uh, kind of the, num the number one brand uh, in infrastructure cloud computing. Let me tell you an interesting fact. Amazon does not use AWS to run their business. Amazon runs their entire business on top of Oracle, on top of the Oracle database. They have been unable to migrate to AWS because it's not good enough. Now, I keep saying this, and they, they just spent another $50 million with us last year buying still more Oracle database. I keep saying this, saying, well, maybe our database is better than Amazon's databases. And, well, why else would Amazon keep buying our database? So they last year bravely said that they're sick of these, these comments of mine, and they're going to move off of Oracle. And they're going to move off of Oracle by 2020. Well, guess what? They took their first step. They just moved a bunch of their warehouses off of Oracle. And guess what happened? I'll send you a copy of Amazon's internal memo. It, they went down. It failed. They had a huge outage. And they said if they had stayed with the Oracle database, this wouldn't have happened. The Oracle database manages most of the world's data. Today, 10 years ago, nothing has changed. All of the world's important, valuable data is in an Oracle database. They're not in Amazon's database. Amazon won't use its own databases to run its business. So our job, so what have we done wrong? Okay, so okay, if you guys are so great, your database is so great, what have you done wrong? Well, we, we didn't get our database to the cloud quickly enough. So if you wanted a cloud database, you had to go to Amazon for a database, and then you are able to go to Microsoft for a database. It took us a while for us to build a secure cloud. It's really hard to build a secure cloud. It took us a while. We think we're there now. We have by far and away the best database in the world. Nothing's close. Uh, we show, show a series of benchmarks where we're 10 times faster than Amazon. More importantly, we're 10 times cheaper to run the same exact thing than Amazon on our database. So if you want all that security and want all that reliability, you have to be willing to, to spend less. That's what we've shown in a series of benchmarks. Even Amazon can't move. That's incredible. The, the fact that they're a customer and you continue to poke them to make sure because they're trying to get at your market share in one area and yet they're on your database well, platform. Well, people say, well, Oracle has no chance in database. Amazon's going to dominate everything. Well, you'd think one of the early customers that Amazon would move how about Amazon? No, Amazon picked Oracle. How do you keep that leading position? Uh, well, we think we have, I don't know, a 10 to 20 year lead on Amazon and databases. Let me prove it. Another thing, Amazon uses Oracle, not Amazon. Amazon's transaction processing database that they have is called Aurora. Aurora is an open, open source database. They just picked up and made closed source on Amazon. They picked up and they didn't write it. They didn't write any of that. They picked up Aurora, put it on Amazon, made it available on their cloud. Well, so who owns Aurora? Who develops Aurora? That would be Oracle. It's called MySQL. That's our small open source database uh, that they claim is their big transaction processing database that's going to replace Oracle. Well, the idea, it's just preposterous, uh, you know, that Amazon didn't even develop the Amazon database. It's just a, a, a chunk of open source that we are responsible for called MySQL. The MySQL does not compare with the Oracle database. There's a reason Amazon uses Oracle. You know who else uses Oracle? Another company that hates us, SAP, uses Oracle everywhere. SAP 10 years ago said, I hate Oracle. I'm getting off of Oracle. I can't stand these guys, especially these guys goes on TV and makes fun of us. And because we have this great new database called HANA, and, and you know, SAP, I go, it's great right. HANA database. It's awesome. Well, 
they have all of these cloud services. Uh, you know, uh, they have success factors. Does it run on HANA? Oh, no. It runs on Oracle. They all run on Oracle. Every 95, 98% of everything SAP does runs on Oracle. A decade later, they still use Oracle, can't get to HANA. The Oracle database beat IBM in the database business, beat Microsoft in the database business. We've been in, in this business for 20 years, constantly making our database better. Now it's the world's first autonomous system. All of SAP's large customers, uh, the EU actually did a study. What percentage of, uh, of the top 100 SAP customers uh, in, in Europe, how many of them run the Oracle database? Only 99. <laughs> One actually ran DB, IBM DB2. Uh, so we only have 99 of 100. All of their cloud services, whether it's SuccessFactors, Ariba, all of these things they've been trying to get off of Oracle and onto HANA for a decade, still all run Oracle. The reason is Oracle's just a much better database than anyone else has. Uh, Satya Nadella was asked, well, if I could have any piece of software in the world, what would it be? And everyone thought he was going to say Google Search. And he said the Oracle database because it's the information age, and all the world's valuable information is sto stored in an Oracle database. Can you take me back and tell me how you've done this, Larry? You're, you're the godfather of technology. You founded this company. You're still thriving. You're still coming up with all these innovation things, and I could see how passionate you are. You're beating <laughs> everybody. Um, and you came from such humble beginnings, grew up on the south side of Chicago, dropped out of college, now you have collections of cars, jets, private homes, owning the island of, of Lanai. Tell me how you did it. Well, I think, I think my favorite line is I had all the disadvantages necessary for success. You know, uh, when you're raised on the south side of Chicago, you probably want to move someplace nicer. And um, I think if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. So I've always been very ambitious. I've always been very curious. Uh, I was, you know, moved to Silicon Valley right out of right after I dropped out of college. And you know, got a job as a computer programmer. I learned how to program when I was in college, and I got a job as a computer programmer and uh, bummed around y at Yosemite Valley teaching rock climbing and and um, and leading river river, river trips uh, during my early twenties. But um, the way I supported myself was as a computer programmer. Uh, and I got involved with more and more interesting and complicated uh, computer projects and decided to start my own company. And then? It grew and, and grew and grew. Yeah. And you, are, you have, you're competitive. Yeah, uh, you know, my original goal when I started Oracle was to build a company of 50 people, uh, people I enjoyed going to work with every day, and uh, people that I respected and enjoyed working with every day. Um, it got to be a little bigger than that. We have 150,000 people inside the company now. And you've got 440,000 customers, 145 countries. Um, where do you go from here? Well, uh, we want to make sure we beat Amazon and cloud database. <laughs> So, it's yeah. funny to hear you say that. It's I mean, that, that, that's that it. Simple. It's very simple. It's very simple. Uh, it's it just like playing basketball. If you, you know, if you're playing basketball, you want to beat the Warriors. You want to be, you know, uh, you want to win the championship. Uh, so, our job, we have the best database in the world. Uh, we've got to deliver it in the context of a, a, cl a cloud that's as easy to use as Amazon, but secure.